Alrighty, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be testing out the multi threaded, multi client reverse shell on a live server. So I went ahead and I already bought this server right here and actually already uploaded um, server.py. So let me go ahead and cat that. So you see, I already uploaded it. Looking beautiful. So remember, in order to kick this off, what we need to do is we need to run Python 3 server.py. If you just run Python, then you're going to get errors because that's Python uh, 2.7. So Python 3 server.py and hit enter. So now, right now, we're in the interactive shell and it's also listening, waiting for clients to connect. So I can just write list right here and we don't have any clients connected yet. So let's just go ahead and start connecting them. So make sure that you change your IP address right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and run this right there. So right now, my local computer, the one I'm sitting at right now has been connected, 198.255. So now if I run list again, you can see that that computer pops up right there. Now I actually already put this on a USB drive, the executable, and I stuck it in my um, laptop in my living room. So I'm gonna go walk over to that. And I'm gonna start that uh, program on the laptop as well. So one second. All right, all righty, me mates, looking good. All right, so you probably saw this pop up when I was in the living room. Connection established with 192.40.89.12. And the reason that this IP is different is because I have my VPN running on that laptop because, well, because I don't trust anyone. So now what I can do is I can just type list again and check it out. So we now have two targets or two clients me or the computer I'm sitting at right now and also this one which is the laptop in my living room so if I just go ahead and write select um, zero then that says we are now connected to my computer and I can just write like um, echo hey and echo tuna and I can just move directories cd dot dot and look at what happens so we can verify that it works Hey, Tuna, any command that we type runs on this computer. Now, I also want to show you guys that if you ever want to just um, go back and connect to another one, just write quit. And what that does is it breaks the loop. And if you write list, and let me go ahead and write list, refresh that. And what you should do is you should actually um, run it or just wait a couple seconds and then run it again because once you quit out of a current connection, then it's going to try to reconnect just the way that the program is set up. It does it all automatically. But now I can go ahead and select zero because whenever we quit it, it disconnected and connected again. So the laptop from my living room got popped up to zero and this one's at one now. But anyways, let's just select zero and we are now connected to the laptop in my living room. So if I just write like um, uh, CD dot dot, we see that, all right. So what I did is I actually stuck this on a USB drive. So if you guys are like, oh crap, I wanted to be able to like to access my friend's computer, but now I'm stuck in the USB drive that I gave him. So of course you can just run commands from here but I mean, how do we access their hard drive? What we were trying to do. Well, all you have to do is if you go to CD, C, colon, this is gonna change your drive. So not your directory, but your drive. So it's gonna move us into the hard drive and check it out. So now if we do DIR, we are now in my laptop, their hard drive. So I can go to, I don't know, CD users, and now I can go DIR and check it out. So the laptop has two users, Kayla. Don't ask me why the name of the computer is Kayla. Don't want to talk about it. And and uh, yeah, there you go. So now you can run whatever commands you want to run. And that is how you make a multi-threaded, multi-client reverse shell in Python. 
boom roasted, lightly toasted. Congratulations, we are done.